And embattled former Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko has launched a fresh legal showdown to save his bid to vie for the Mombasa gubernatorial seat. After filing a petition at the East African Court of Justice contesting yesterday's verdict at the Supreme Court, Sonko, whose return to elective politics has halted, rather was halted, by the highest court in the land, has also filed for a review of the judgment rendered by Chief Justice Martha Kome and her six colleagues, confirming his impeachment by the county assembly in Nairobi uh, in 2020. And as Francis Gashuri reports, Sonko is singling out Kome who is also the Supreme Court president, for what he termed rushed proceedings and a predetermined outcome. A day after the Supreme Court slammed the door on his attempt to make a dramatic comeback to elective politics two years after being impeached by the Nairobi County Assembly, former capital city governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko emerged to declare his resolve to fight on. I've seen there are some headlines our opponents are celebrating saying it is the end of Sonko. I want to prove them wrong and tell them it is the start of Sonko, not the end of Sonko. Sonko adopting a two-pronged approach to salvage his Mombasa gubernatorial bid. So we have filed for review before the same Supreme Court. We have filed also before the East African Court of Justice. Supreme Court judges led by Chief Justice Martha Koome, while concurring with verdicts rendered by the High Court and the Court of Appeal, said the procedure outlined in Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Government Act, and standing orders in Nairobi County Assembly and the Senate had been followed in Sonko's ouster, the Apex Court, while breathing life to Chapter 6 of the Constitution on leadership and integrity, dismissed Sonko's appeal, but the former governor has contested the supreme decision. You know, this Supreme Court ruling, the three judges were not involved in writing of the judgment. We have just seen a sentence saying, these other ones, they will write their judgment later, but they are concurring with us. Something is wrong somewhere. The Supreme Court had parties in Sonko's appeal on Thursday and rendered its verdict a day later as the clock ticks to the August 9th polls. My appeal has been there since April. I don't know who before elections, the party verdict. Why not that have been cleared when I rakisho the Malaysia Raka? When I saw it just running. So when I skip the cases Kumboja, Keshwaka on a piano verdict. Let's see gonna parties fourteen. But then twenty four hours we must kiss and happy every party, every party, every party. So there are so many technicalities here. Sonko accusing the Chief Justice of discussing in a radio interview the integrity question for persons who are impeached days before his appeal was heard and determined. And the conduct of the Chief Justice was wrong. I respect her. I respect the judiciary, all the magistrates, judges. But when there is a problem, there is nobody who is above the law. I might also be forced to file a complaint against her in the JSC. And she must accuse herself with the JSC when her complaint goes there. The electoral body IABC that had cleared Sonko to vie for Mombasa governor's seat hours before the Supreme Court verdict is yet to pronounce itself on his candidature. Sonko's petition at the East African Court of Justice, if admitted, will be handled by the Court of First Instance that currently has five judges. The court had in 2020 awarded now Kenya leader Mother Karua 2.7 million shillings and found Kenya guilty of violating her right to access justice through its judicial organs in a case she filed in 2019 after a hat trick of losses at the High Court, Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court in the Kirinyaga Governor's Race Petition against Anwe Goro. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.